What's up, what's up, what's up? This is your boy Q, the content guy, and I am back for a brand new episode, review, whatever you want to call it, of Housewives of Potenka. I wonder if I sound low. I can't really tell if I sound low. If I sound low because it's a build-up, just like this episode was a build-up. Anyway, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know you're watching. Let YouTube know you're watching as I continue to build this channel. And uh, let's get this thing started. So we start off with the ladies getting ready for the all all white party, uh, which was supposed to be Karen's birthday. But you know, liar, creative face was upset. So she said she wasn't going to throw the party for her. So, okay. So Karen was like, child, I'm just ready to eat. So, um, everybody comes downstairs. Sharice, Bulldog, I'm talking to you. What you got on? You got them clunky ass heels on, that goddamn big ass moo moo shower curtain on. Oh, She's just big and annoying. Um,. Anyway, child. So everybody's sitting at the table and they all, you know, start to share their fun. Well, Giselle gets it started and she's like, let's all share our funny favorite Karen move moments. So, of course, we start off with the wig shift. I don't know what season this was, but honey, Karen Coyne wasn't right and that wig wasn't right. So she couldn't shift it right. Candace was trying to help her, but she just couldn't shift it. And then I think we went on to, if I'm not mistaken, it was the kissing control your man's tongue and learn how to get a man and you know that which was nasty um Giselle said her favorite moment was clank clank you better help your man make sure you don't drop that soap you know when Karen um read Ashley to Phil yeah that moment and then Mia's favorite moment was when Gordon was like, oh, girl, you look so good. Ugh, yuck. Ugh. And he was sticking his tongue out. Oh, my God. That was so disgusting. And then um, Jacqueline was like, yeah, I heard he has a big tongue. Mm-hmm. Let me get into you in a minute, Jacqueline. Don't you go nowhere. Let me get on you in a minute, sis. Um, but it was just an all-around fun scene. Um. The guy was throwing fire, child. Karen was all hot and moist. And she was, honey, she was, I said, oh, okay, Karen, that's what you went to. Oh, all right, sis. She was feeling it. But like I said, it was a fun scene. It was a needed scene because this season has been so, like, kind of dark, I want to say. Um, so it was a really, really good moment for them to have. When They didn't last long, but it was a good moment for them to have. Um, Ashley then brings up the fact that Chris was tweeting threats towards her. Giselle says she thought it was towards her. Candace says uh, the tweets were for, bo- for both of you. <laughs> um, and then I wonder if I saved that picture. Did I get that picture? Oh, I didn't save it. Damn it. I had to get it for the next time. So then, um, so. <laughs> Candace, I forgot which one is Candace. I can't even tell. Is it this one? Well, we're gonna leave it here because um, yeah, we're gonna leave it right here. So, <laughs> so in Candace's confessional, she says, "I don't have time for this." Um, pretty much talking about Giselle, she said, "Honey, with your long rolling heels of necks, let me tell y'all something. The way I cackled, because I didn't holler just yet. Oh, I'm gonna let you know when I hollered." But I didn't holler just yet. I was cackling. Mm, mm, mm. Candace, I'm going to need you to say some of these things to her face, though, because it's going to hurt more. And the confessional is cool, but I need you to say it directly to her. Um, Candace, you know, she goes down the aisle. You got a problem? You got a problem? You got a problem? You got a problem? Who's next? You got a problem? You got a... Who's next? You got a problem? You got a problem? Who's next? Hmm. Quiet. Quiet. Crickets. Crickets. Nobody was saying anything. Oh, 
where's all the energy at? Hmm? Where's all the energy at, Roberto? Well, you were saving it for later on. Okay, got it. Candy says, if I cuss you out, I'm aggressive. If I move on, I'm defensive. Jacqueline, for some reason, pipes up and she's like, um, uh, you're being defensive right now. Let me tell y'all something. <clears throat> Candace says, Ta-ta, 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 ta-ta. I'm not talking to you. Ta-ta, ta-ta. <sighs> okay, I'm sorry. So she goes, I'm not talking to you. And Candace was like, who are you? Jack Jacqueline was like, um, she was like, who are you? I'm not talking to you. She was like, I'm not talking to the representative. Karen had the same look on my face. I had the same look Karen had, like, oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> um and Jacqueline was like, you wish you had a representative. Girl, shut the fuck up. Represent that. Representing each other the fuck up. Um, it's the next day. And of course, the representative and me are in the bathroom running their mouth about Candace. Sharice goes upstairs looking bloated. Um, uh, Candace said, you know, it's supposed to be a fun trip, but she just feels drained. She's tired of all the back and forth. She's tired of the women jumping on her husband. And I'm going to give Candace a little bit later on, too. So don't you worry. But I actually enjoyed Candace's episode because maybe she was clearing the girls. Um, so it's the next day. I'm mean, excuse me, it's the same day, and they're all ready to go on a boat trip. And Ashley, Candace, Robin, and Sharice are all getting on a boat together. Um, when um, uh, Jacqueline, Crater Face, Long Rolling Hills of Next, Karen, and Mia um, all are getting um going to go hang out for karen's birthday um candace lets the girls know that she has talked to wendy and she's inviting wendy to come hang out with them on a boat roberto as you can see has an attitude wendy hasn't even arrived yet and roberto is bothered roberto was like i don't care i don't care clearly you care clearly you're bothered she didn't do anything to you she read you last season get over it everybody has been talking about this marriage that doesn't exist why is wendy any different everybody on the cast has been talking about your marriage not existing everybody in the world has talked about your marriage not existing you know that y'all not getting married andy cohen himself asks you when are you getting married so why is it a problem when wendy says it um child bulldog roberto candace and ashley get on this goddamn paddle boot that me had found on groupon Meanwhile, the rest of them over there driving Ferraris. Um, I said, ooh. So, <laughs> Ashley asks Robin about her wedding. Robin says it's going to be a really, 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 really small wedding. So small that me nor Juan will be there or the pastor that's supposed to marry you. That's how small the wedding will be. Um, so that's that, and she says she doesn't want to talk about this in front of people that she doesn't like and that doesn't like her, and blah blah blah, girl. But she talk about it on the camera, and, the ca and we don't like you, so I mean, what's the difference? Everybody's back at the house getting ready to go out. Um, and Roberto's upstairs in the bathroom, you know, using, using the bathroom, and comes out and plays this recording, and Candace. Is saying, you know, these bitches are nobody, none of these bitches are real. They all fake, they all hoes, they're not loyal. I said, oh. Mm. Candace was pissed off. So, you know, Giselle was like, oh, she's talking about everybody. I'm so glad you brought that up to me. Giselle, do you work out? Because that dress was showing off your not just your long necks, but your rolls also. So, yeah. Getting a little heavy there. Um, in the car ride, it was weird because Jacqueline, well, Mia was talking about some guy she used to date and how it was the best that she ever had and she couldn't let him go even though he was cheating on her. 
And then Jacqueline was like, I mean, then she told, she was like, yeah, and I told Jacqueline to try it out. And she was like, it's the best she ever had to this day. Mm, okay. And I agree with Long. I agree with Nick. She was like, girl, something going on between y'all. Because y'all sharing a lot of stuff. You said G's tongue was, was big. You representing Mia, getting cussed out in the midst of representing Mia. And then you sharing his sharing boy. Oh, okay, bro. Girl, just say y'all. Girl. Just say y'all was fucking girl. We know you and Mia was fucking girl. We know. It's not a, it's not a secret. Y'all was fucking. We know. Y'all give off lesbian vibes. <clears throat> right. I'm back. Um, they all sit down for dinner. First of all, before we even get here. Can somebody help me understand what's going on with this outfit? that Roberto has on. It's giving me very Kent Sierra. It's giving me very Selena, except for Selena would have worn better. It's giving me very, you know, somebody said I was cute, so I threw it on. It's giving me very, like, I'm Hispanic, but I'm really black. It's giving me, she's, it's tacky. It's fucking tacky is what it is. Anyway. So they all sit down um, for dinner, for the final dinner. And Ashley goes outside and she invites um, Wendy to the final dinner. Dinner. You know, the one that Mia doesn't want her at for whatever reason. Because Mia's acting like she's the goddamn victim when she's the one who threw the drink first. Okay. Um, yeah. And, um... In her confessional, and I must say, Ashley's confessional was everything. In her confessional, she said she doesn't understand why why Wendy can't be in the group. Um, you know, like, it doesn't make any sense. And I have to give it to Ashley because, you know, she's in the group. She shows up. Candace shows up. They've been at odds. They've almost gotten into a fight with each other and all kind of stuff. And they still show up and do scenes together. So I don't understand why Wendy couldn't do the same thing because she cleared y'all like okay <sighs> anyway um so Ashley, Ashley goes back and she lets the ladies know that she invited Wendy because Wendy's down the street hey go Candace uh, did you invite her Ashley said yeah she's coming <laughs> She says, yeah, she's coming. So Mia, like, they went to a commercial break, and Mia was like, you disrespectful little rant or whatever. So Cherie's bull-faced, wide, musty ass talking about some damn, you should have said something before you asked the ladies. It was very disrespectful for you to ask the ladies. Cherise, we don't care what you got to say. You just got back on the show. Pipe down, Biggie. Pipe down. As she was like, um... It's disrespectful. And Mia was like, she got one more time. She's disrespectful. She's this and she's that. So Ashley was like, oh, um, you know, no, what's disrespectful is the fact that this woman took time on her schedule um, and, and being with her family to hang out in this group and she's not here. Mia was like, because you're a brat. And she starts laughing. <laughs> Ashley was like, <laughs> what you say? Oh, I'm a brat. Well, you're a bully. How about that? Since you want to call names, you're a bully. Yes, that's what you are. Okay, y'all, listen. Listen to me now. Listen. Whew. I, I wish I had the damn picture. Oh, y'all. Mm, 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 mm. Matter of fact, I'm just going to use this picture from the night before. I'm going to just use this picture. But I need y'all to understand something right now. After Ashley says, you know, I am, 
you're um you're a bully and this and that because actually pretty much cleared me when me ain't had nothing to say in the midst of Ashley clearing me up Candace listen to me carefully Candace is sitting next to Jacqueline the representative Candace points at Ashley and Mia and says ain't you gonna jump in you're not gonna represent okay let me tell y'all something I put the TV on pause and I ran around the house. I was not expecting that. I was screaming. I was not expecting that. I ran around the house. That shit was so goddamn funny to me. Ashley and me. Are- I wish I could play the damn clip. Ashley and me. I want to see if I can play the clip. Oh my gosh. Bravo. Don't please. I ain't- listen. My channel ain't monetized yet. Let me see if I can find that damn clip. Ashley was in the midst of reading me or her rights, clearing her, okay? And, okay, hold on, y'all. Can I find it? Hold on. Ah, it's gonna take too long. Okay, let me see something. She's nearby. Yeah, I'm a what? Okay, listen, y'all. Listen. And what are you? What are you, Mia? A bully? Is that what you are? Oh, I'm a bully now? Yeah, that's how you're acting. <laughs> For real. You want to call names? Listen, listen, listen. You're not going to jump in and just spend your friend? Mind your own damn business. Oh, this is my business. No, it's You not. like to jump in? Go and jump in. I can do whatever the f- I want to. Ooh, okay? Ooh, ooh. Get your ass right there. I'm sitting, bitch. today mm, 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 mm. now i told y'all that ashley I, that I, I i i'm cool with candace this season candace has officially gotten on my good side <laughs> jacqueline we don't know you sis sit there and shut the fuck up just like you should have shut the fuck up earlier shut the fuck up you're new to the group and you're you're running your mouth for a bitch that don't nobody give a fuck about little do you know don't none of them motherfucking girls give a fuck roberta don't care nick don't care bulldog don't care don't nobody give a fuck about me except for you and i can promise you them goddamn cameras wasn't rolling honey me would probably be in a damn big hospital bed somewhere but you keep on representing. Let's see how that turns out for you. So, <clears throat> whew, that was that. Wendy joins the ladies and she apologizes. Girl, I wouldn't apologize for a motherfucking thing. But she apologizes to Mia and um, she's like, if you know, I apologize if my choice of words escalate the situation. Oh, first of all, before even that even happens, they all like switching around to make more room at the table. So Candace is like, well, girl, talking to um, Giselle, girl, don't fall in the pool. Here go Giselle. <laughs> if anybody get thrown in the water, it won't be me. Giselle, if you do get thrown in the water, you'll float back up with them thick ass ankles. You will float back up. Bitch. Um, so Wendy apologizes and Mia is like, oh, um, you know, it's a, that's a kumbaya. And she was like, in her confessional, she was like, she ain't talking to me. Cause I, <sighs> why are you playing the victim? Why are you playing the victim? Why? Why? You are the one that's wrong. You couldn't handle somebody clearing you, reading you for filth. So you threw a drink on them. And then you're going to play the victim. Girl. And the thing is, we we as the fans, we don't like you, so we don't give a fuck. We're actually mad that Wendy didn't get up and pop you in your goddamn mouth. So they take over Roberto, because you know Roberto always got to have a scene, child. Roberto pulls out this speaker out of his purse and puts the speaker on, 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 a, on a table for some reason and was like, I want everybody at the table to listen. I want everybody at the table to listen. And and it's Candace talking, you know, what she said earlier about the girls being fake and blah, blah. And Candace like, yeah, I said it. Yep, I said it. 
And then Candace proceeds to clear Ashley and clear goddamn Giselle. Yep. She said, Ashley, you faking, you phony, and you disloyal. And she said, Giselle, you faking, phony, and you always staring, staring shit up. Yep. And then um, Ashley felt some kind of way, so she, you know, told the shit about what what uh, what uh, Candace said about Karen. Candace said, I never said anything. Now, Candace, you did sit at that table and say that, at, say that, um, um, Karen was out there with blue eyes. You did say that. So, you did say something. But Ashley, girl, shut the fuck up. You wrong. Candace was trying to build a friendship with you. You was wrong. And you being messy. Now I'm here for you when you get Mia together. I love it. But other than that, Ashley, shut up. Um, Karen gets up. She's pissed. And she was like, this is for everybody at the table. Shut the fuck up. I said, ooh. Can Karen goes to the bathroom. The th- a thunderstorm comes, and everybody leave. They all go to the club except for Gizzard. She gotta go home and relax her feet. She gotta put her feet in some ice and some alcohol because her, her, you know, her ankles getting real big in them shoes. Everybody else go out. They having a good time. Candace and, and Mia showing titty in the camera, kissing each other on the cheek. Roberto and Wendy hugging, saying how much they love each other. And then on the ride home, Candace cussing, uh, robbing out. And Robin cussing Candace out, and it was all caught on Ashley's phone. So thank you, Ashley's phone. Um, this is probably what people wanted in Beverly Hills, but we didn't get it. So anyway, and then the, um, they showed the mid-season trailer, and that was that. Um, yeah, that was that. Very very good episode. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all next week if it come on next week. Peace.